confirm sequence B7 on the mainboard. We need the rotor assembly next. Check the alignment on SPAR-42. Alignment confirmed. Initiating scan sequence. stress levels on the composite are stabilizing. Good, let's maintain this temperature for the next cycle. Classification reads R10, secondary load. Acknowledged. Racket in zone four. Check the tension on the main feeder bolt. Reading 250 foot-pounds. With intolerance, secure for transport. The reflectivity on sector four is still reading high. Yes. yes, I'm seeing the anomaly right here on the cable. Rotation index matches the telemetry readout. Confirmed. The alignment is within tolerance. Pressure holds steady at 2,500 PSI. Noted. Proceed with the next sequence. Check the continuity on channel 73. The resistance seems high. Confirmed. Reading stable at 0.45 ohms. Looks good. Alignment complete. We have stabilization across all axes. Confirmed. Data looks good.
We're holding at maximum load. Deflection is within tolerance. Copy that. Logging the sensor data now. Talk setting is confirmed at 6 to 5. Roger that. Proceed with the sequence. We're showing green across the board here. Confirm, the mast is within tolerance. Targeting solution holding steady at point four. Good impact visualization on screen three. The drift rate on the azimuth looks stable at 45 degrees. Confirmed. The target panels are maintaining temperature. Check the resonance on rack four. Levels are stable within the parameters, confirming the structural integrity. Okay, easy now, a little to the left. Left side clear. Looks good, initiating clamps. That's the correct tension on this one. Confirmed. Moving to the next sequence. Okay, bring it down five millimeters. Steady on the starboard mount, alignment confirmed. Is this the C-series loom? Yes, matches the diagram. Route it through the upper conduit. Alignment looks good on my end. Roger that. Check and mount sequence. Torquing bolt four, green light. Alignment looks good on the starboard side. Confirmed. Confirmed. Engaging the forward mount bolt now. set. Reading steady on your side. Affirmative. The alignment is within tolerance. Good to go. We are showing green across the board. Confirmed. Proceeding with the final coupling sequence. Torque is good on this one. Okay, I've secured the wiring harness. Double check the connection point. Confirmed.
Gently does it, Chief. A fraction to the starboard. Understood. Holding position. Steady pressure now, feel the click. Verified and aligned. I'll log the 25 foot pounds. The turret is positioned, start the sequence. Talking the mount bolts now. Harness connection is secure. Aligning connection point three. Confirmed. Talk to specification. Are the validation parameters holding steady? Yes, all green across the board. The sensor array is fully calibrated. Bus one engaged. Verify sequence start. Sequence confirmed. All parameters nominal. The frequency analysis on Gearbox 3 is stable. Confirmed. All readings are within the required tolerance. The latency on the weapon bus is well within tolerance here. Right, the integrated validation is successful. We're clear for the next phase. Keep her steady now. Mind the clearance on the starboard side. Torque is good on the forward bolt. Confirm. Moving to the rear. We're clear on the port side. How's the alignment looking? Looks good. Just, just a fraction more to the right. Readings are stable, fuel flow is steady. Noted. All pre-flight checks passed on my side. Run up stable, gauges in the green, confirm logging idle parameters. Roger that, all parameters recorded. Good track, run the numbers again to confirm. Handshake initiated. Check the parameters on your end. Reading stable, looks like a pass. Final release documents confirmed and signed. Thank you. We can finalise the handover now. 
The targeting system parameters on the upgraded Hellfire missile require a specific input sequence during close air support operations. Right, let's begin the sequence. We confirm the APU generator is supplying power, then initiate the engine start by selecting the ignition overrides here. Select the armament menu and verify the selected weapon profile. Profile confirmed. The laser is still reporting a fault. First, ensure the mode selector is set to PNVS. Then, use the gimbal stick to slew the sensor, observing the coordinates change on the main screen. Hydraulic pressure dropping. Confirm systems check. Checking now. Switches 2 and 3 are live. Pay close attention to this altitude deviation here. It clearly exceeds the brief limits. Was that a system error, squadron leader, or manual input? So if we follow this contour line, the elevation change is minimal. And the optimal route avoids the shadow area entirely. This rack simulates the exact fault condition we discussed. Monitor the voltage here. Confirmed. The reading is unstable, indicating the intermittent short. Maintain visual contact on the primary target, grid reference Delta Niner. Weapons free on confirmed hostile intent only. This segment here requires precise timing due to the active SAM sites. I'll need confirmation from the wingman at Point Charlie. The primary correction is here, bypassing this sector entirely. And this adjustment accounts for the wind variance at flight level 250. Precisely. Avionics panel secure, how's the tail? Clear and green, Captain. Ready for engine start? Sequence initiated, targeting pod slowing to point three. Confirming telemetry lock, accuracy within parameters. Clear the rotor arc, starting sequence initiated. Engine one, two, and three running, oil pressure green. Adjust the potentiometer to stabilize the RPMs at 5200. Monitor the torque closely. Zoom in on the target array at grid coordinate KL45 F25. We need confirmation on structural integrity. Analyzing now, ma'am. Documents are signed and sealed. Hand over complete. Thank you. Thank you. Ground checks complete. All green. Ready for launch, ma'am. Roger that. Taking the runway. Confirming stable hover at 10 feet. Roger that. Gauges are green. Maintaining position.